All right, so here I am at 104 Dogwood Lane. This is the driveway up to the house. This is Dogwood Lane itself right here. It dead ends uh, down there, probably about 200 yards. This is Highway 29, which is also East Main Street in Spartanburg. It is also Main Street in Cowpens. And then this is a corner lot. There isn't much grass in the yard. Um, there's several dogs here, I think. Um, there's a lot of dirt and stuff there, no grass, not much to speak of. Okay. I'm gonna walk around the outside. So you have a standard three tab shingle on here. Um, looks to be in pretty good shape. Uh, this is wood siding, so there will be some maintenance needed on that down the road. This feels pretty solid there. Um, the boxing, all of the eaves look, appear to be vinyl, which is a good thing. Um, again, you've got... Maybe that's been replaced at some point. Uh, one thing you probably should think about, uh, this is a four lane road out here. May have some traffic uh, noise to contend with. There's a broken piece of siding there. I don't notice any damage of carpenter bees. I think this is a cypress or a cedar sided house. Hey buddy. The ceiling porch ceiling is uh is vinyl also. Let's walk around. Nice wooded lot, though. Okay. Oh, that still feels pretty solid. It's a Linux AC unit. There's some info on that. The windows are older storm windows. You are on a crawl space here, which is a good thing for any uh, renovations needed. Your plumbing and your electrical are easy to move. It's the back side of the house here. Just another unit here, smaller. This must be for the upstairs. on that completely fenced in yard I guess that's a fire pit Okay, tin roof on the ceiling here. Bet that sounds nice in a rainstorm.
Okay, so they put a vapor barrier down. Um, seems to be insulated. Uh, pull back some insulation there. That's still pretty sturdy. I thought it looked water damage. It looked like water damage at first, but it's not. At least I don't think it is, but that's why we have home inspections. I would step out further away from the house, but then the sun's going to stop you from getting a good view of the back there. I want to stay in the shadows. So we're back around here. All right, I'm gonna pause it here and then I'm gonna go inside. While I'm waiting for her to put the dogs up, um, this porch is probably about five or six feet wide here and maybe about 20, 25 feet long, just to put that in perspective. All right, here we are in the front door. This is uh, laminate flooring. I think it's, I can't tell if it's vinyl or LVP, but um, it should be on the description. Uh, fireplace appears to be wood burning. There are no unusual smells, no um, unusual heating or cooling right now. Well, I'm not sure how to open that. But anyway, uh, <clears throat> ceilings are eight feet in here. There's no unevenness in the floors. I haven't noticed any soft spots or any bounciness. Uh, this would be the dining area. Windows are a little fogged. Uh, these are, they're insulated windows, but I'm not sure if these are, um, if they still have their ceiling, uh, their insulating properties. Uh, they appear to be fogged on the inside. So that's something that we would have to look at. Cabinets are probably original, it appears to be. Um, popcorn ceilings in here. Those are smooth in there. No soft spots here in front of the dishwasher or the sink. Not around the, around the refrigerator. here no apparent leaks in there laundry room no no leaks or soft spots should I say I won't say there's no leaks I'll just say that there's no soft spots which is evident of Leaks. Um, looks like original. These were built in place. You've got one continuous cabinet there. You've got breaker box here. Okay. This is the garage. Okay. I just want to turn off these lights as I go through. Okay. So back into the living room. Again, no unevenness, no funny dips or anything in the 
in the floor. Just a standard closet here. The, uh, the soft spots there. They do have solid wood doors in here, which is really nice. Now this ceiling is pretty low in here. I'm not sure what's up with that. Probably about seven feet. There's a little, feels a little soft right there. Oh, this goes into this room, which I guess could double as a bedroom or an office. And that's back out to that area where I came from. Walk-in closet. Let's go upstairs. Uh, smaller, could be a child's bedroom here. Again, these windows, well, these are single pane windows here with storms on the outside. Yeah, again, single pane. Nice walk-in closet here. No evidence of leaks. Okay, so it's like a Jack and Jill bathroom. Interesting color choice for the ceiling in here. No soft spots that I noticed, that I felt. I'll just go to continue on into this other bedroom. This is a larger bedroom. <clears throat> That's back out in the hall. Again, popcorn ceilings. sure this is attic access yeah there's your air handler at least one of them if I had to guess the other one was probably under the house uh, they've got insulated board here <coughs> this feels hollow so they may have just put this in um, without insulation behind it not sure why you would do that but anyway um, Again, the windows need updating. Then there's a hall closet here. Uh, I guess there's no attic access on this side. Okay, but that's that's the house. Um, I'll get this video to you, and um, soon. The seller just told me that both of the buildings do stay. That building is brand new. They just bought that one, but both of them will convey with the property.